Reverend Insanity Chapter 2021 Blue Heaven Shatters Soon, Zio Hejian received the reply. He personally flew underground and faced Forest Lightning Grotto Lord. Alliance leader has said that he can let you go, but Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven must belong to the Alliance. Of course, the Alliance will not carry out any risky attempts on the Kai Harvest Fruit in the Grotto Heaven. No, Forest Lightning Grotto Lord's attitude was extremely firm. This Grotto Heaven is my home, I will not give it up. It won't change owners, this is my territory. What qualifications does the Alliance have to seize it? I will look after the Lightning Goo for the moment. Retreat and don't try to invade again from now on. I can set an agreement with the Alliance to never seek Lightning Goo. If the Alliance wants Rank 9 Lightning Goo, you can provide the resources to raise it in the Lightning Forest here. Zio Hejian did not respond and only reported Forest Lightning Grotto Lord's request to Wu Shui. Wu Shui mumbled for a while, unable to come to a decision. He then sent this information to the main body through secret methods and let the main body decide. Fang Yuan fell into deep thought. Rank 9 Immortal Gu have supreme might, it is indeed worth yielding a step. But this Lightning Gu is only rank 8 currently. To raise it to rank 9, who knows how many resources and how big of a price we have to pay. And there could be many unexpected mishaps during this process. Another crucial point is that Lightning Gu's information cannot be concealed. This news will definitely lead to chaos. Be they Heavenly Court, Longevity Heaven, or other forces, they will all interfere. Wu Shuai's and Kai Si ancestors' forces must have an all-out battle in the end. Fang Yuan's wisdom path attainment was deep and immediately deduced the future changes. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord concealed the secret of Lightning Gu because he wanted to keep it for himself. But now that he could not keep it, he could only use this chip to negotiate. Since he could secretly contact the enemy, he would not just negotiate with Wu Shuai's alliance, he was sure to contact Kai Si Ancestor. Fang Yuan's Kai Si Ancestor disguise protected humanity and had allied with Heavenly Court. He could never let a variant human force like Wu Shuai's alliance obtain rank 9 Lightning Gu. Thus, Kai Si Ancestor would have to send troops. At that time, Forest Lightning Grotto Lord would surely curry favor with both sides and strive to win some respite. This Forest Lightning Grotto Lord truly had high astuteness and was deeply aware of the way of survival of the weak. But like this, it was bound to increase the friction between Kai Si Ancestor and Wu Shuai. This was exactly what Fang Yuan had been trying to avoid. And at that time, Heavenly Court would definitely add fuel to the fire, even Longevity Heaven, Demon Immortal Kaiju, and the Five Regions forces would stir up the situation from the dark. Although Fang Yuan was the leader of both sides, he was unable to restrict every subordinate. In the fight between these subordinates, if anyone died, Wu Shuai and Kai Si Ancestor would need to take some action to preserve their side's benefit and prestige. The situation would escalate and continue being irremediable until it finally leads to an all-out battle. But if Fang Yuan suppressed the situation, this would not fit the attitudes of Wu Shuai and Kai Si Ancestor. It would definitely be filled with giant loopholes in the eyes of Wisdom Path Gu Immortals. Heavenly Court would start to have doubts and the whole situation would turn even more dangerous. Thus, this situation was not as simple as just a lightning goo. This would implicate many things. It would involve variant humans, humans, and even the overall situation of the two heavens and five regions. Fang Yuan was unable to come to a decision immediately for such a huge matter. After all, he had to think of many factors. The important thing was that his current strength had fallen. He was at his weakest state and now was the time when he needed to rest and recuperate. I remember Lightning Gu is recorded in the legends of Ren Zhu. The power it showed was quite strong. Fang Yuan browsed through the legends of Ren Zhu. The Legends of Ren Zhu, Chapter 4, Section 30. 
Blazing glory, lightning brilliance, and myriad gold wondrous essence were sent flying away by Fate Gu and were forced to leave Renzu, arriving at immemorial blue heaven. Rumble. Thunder rumbled unceasingly here. Lightning flashed, imprinting the sky and forming a forest of lightning. I am angry, I am angry. The source of this lightning forest was a lightning goo. It was roaring continuously. Blazing glory, lightning brilliance, and myriad gold wondrous essence were extremely afraid. The lightning was too strong, so long as a lightning bolt struck them, they would be heavily injured or even die. They did not move at all, afraid of lightning goo discovering them and bombarding them to death. They waited patiently for lightning goo's anger to dissipate. They would move once it calmed down. But Lightning Goo was extremely angry, and its anger did not show any signs of decreasing. The Lightning Forest kept on growing in size. What should we do? Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence was worried. How can we return to Father? Brother, do you have any good suggestions? Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance shook his head, his brows furrowed. It is all Fate Goo's fault. It forcefully separated us from Father. I am definitely going to take revenge in the future. Arg, my heart hurts every time I think of Fate Goo. Blazing glory lightning brilliance held his chest. He found his heart aching more and more. How could this be? He quickly opened up his chest and looked at the depths of his heart. Oh, why is there a goo in my heart? Blazing glory lightning brilliance was astonished. It is no wonder my heart is in constant pain. This goo was biting on my heart. Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence also saw this goo worm. Isn't this love goo? I heard father mentioning it before. No, I am hatred goo. The goo worm spoke, although I look similar to love goo on the surface. Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence urged, Hatred goo, why are you gnawing on my brother's heart? Please stop quickly. But hatred goo said, I won't. I am building my home here. I am changing your brother's heart into a heart of hatred. Blazing glory lightning brilliance was furious. Who allowed you to build your home in my heart? Get out quickly. I don't welcome you. If you don't get out, I will crush you to death. Hatred Goo laughed loudly. I was attracted by lightning Goo's anger, but unexpectedly discovered that your heart is more suitable for my home. I won't leave. Blazing glory lightning brilliance was furious. He actually put his hand inside his heart and grabbed Hatred Goo. Hatred Goo was like a curved blade without a handle. Blazing glory lightning brilliance's hand was pierced and bled as he grabbed it. He clenched his teeth and exerted strength, crushing Hatred Goo to death. But at the next moment, Hatred Goo resurrected from the blood and became even bigger. Blazing glory lightning brilliance crushed it to death again. Hatred goo revived once again, its size becoming slightly bigger again. It is useless. Hatred goo said, Hatred cannot be killed. Vengeance only breeds more hatred and grudges. The more you treat me like this, the more your hatred will increase. Myriad gold wondrous essence was somewhat stunned and helpless against hatred goo. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Blazing glory lightning brilliance covered his chest, his face pale from the pain. Hatred goo was drilling in and out of his heart, creating holes after holes, transforming his heart into a heart of hatred. The current blazing glory lightning brilliance hated fate goo even more. If I was not sent flying here by fate goo, how could I have encountered hatred goo? How could my heart be pierced by hatred goo? I will definitely destroy Fate Goo. I will definitely take revenge. The more blazing glory lightning brilliance thought, the more he hated. He was no longer afraid of angering lightning goo. He stood up suddenly. Sister, let's go. I don't want to stay here. Blazing glory lightning brilliance held myriad gold wondrous essence's hand. But myriad gold wondrous essence hesitated. Brother, there is lightning all around us. We don't know when it will strike. It is too dangerous. Blazing glory lightning brilliance said, Sister, don't be afraid. The hatred in my heart has shown me a path. That is the path of revenge. There is no lightning on this path. 
as long as I follow it, I can find Fate Goo and take revenge against it. Quick, follow me. Blazing glory lightning brilliance dragged myriad gold wondrous essence. The strange thing was that despite lightning bolts crackling around them, not a single one struck blazing glory lightning brilliance and myriad gold wondrous essence. The two ran and ran when they suddenly collided into something. What is ahead? Myriad gold wondrous essence touched the air in front of her and found it was like a transparent wall. This is the heavenly wind Kai wall, the border of the immemorial nine heavens. Hatred Gu explained. Brother, there is a wall ahead, we cannot leave. Myriad gold wondrous essence said helplessly. But blazing glory lightning brilliance had a different perspective. Where is the wall? I only see the path ahead, as long as we follow along this trail, we can definitely leave and find fate goo. Time and again, blazing glory lightning brilliance got up and rushed forward before colliding into the heavenly wind Kai wall, his head bled as he fell to the ground. Then, he climbed up and charged forward again. Myriad gold wondrous essence wanted to stop him, but blazing glory lightning brilliance did not listen. Hatred Gu laughed. It is useless. I have already built my home in his heart. Although his eyes are open, he can only see the path that I point towards. He cannot see any other thing. Ha ha ha. Right at this time, Lightning Gu sensed blazing glory lightning brilliance and myriad gold wondrous essence. The terrifying lightning forest began to quickly spread towards them. There was no road to advance or retreat. Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence was extremely anxious but did not have any ideas. It would have been great if we still had Wealth Goo. Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance did not listen to her. He continued to collide into the Heavenly Wind Kai Wall. Blood filled the ground. Lightning Goo finally reached closer. Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence cried, Am I going to die here? But Lightning Goo restrained its power and approached slowly. It let out a rumbling sound. Don't worry, oh humans, I won't harm you or injure you. On the contrary, I want your help. Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence stopped crying and asked curiously, Lightning Goo, you are so strong, how can we possibly help you? Lightning Goo, I have been trapped here all along. Immemorial Blue Heaven is large, but I am already sick of it. I want to go out, but I am unable to find a path that leads to the outside. Thus I am angry. Anger often leads to hatred, so hatred goo was attracted here. But from your brother, I can see the path to exit. Therefore, humans, let us cooperate. I will help you break the heavenly wind Kai wall, and you will bring me out of here. All right, lightning goo proposed. Myriad Gold Wondrous Essence and Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance were very happy at this suggestion. I agree to it. Your help will be great. Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance replied. Thereupon, Lightning Goo landed on Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance's hand and started to emit a terrifying radiance. Hatred Goo laughed loudly, let me lend you a hand. Lightning Goo obtained Hatred Goo's strength and became extremely powerful. Rumble Rumble Lightning Goo erupted with fierce strength, not only destroying the Heavenly Wind Kai Wall, but even shattering the whole of Immemorial Blue Heaven. Quickly leave, Blazing Glory Lightning Brilliance was greatly shocked and knew that they had created a huge disaster. He quickly grabbed his sister and left with Lightning Goo and Hatred Goo. Chapter 2022 Heavenly Court Seeks to Fight According to the legends of Ren, Hatred Goo and Lightning Goo can cooperate and amplify each other's power to form a terrifying killer move that directly destroyed Immemorial Blue Heaven. Fang Yuan read it carefully again as he wondered, did this mean that these two goo worms could counter Heaven Path? Where were Heaven Path Dao marks most gathered in? Undoubtedly, the immemorial nine heavens. Besides them, there was Fang Yuan's body. This seems to be an avenue to resolve my current predicament. Fang Yuan pondered, but only Lightning Goo is here. It won't work without Hatred Goo. Where is this Goo Worm? Is there currently such an immortal Goo in existence? If not, how do I refine it? 
If it exists, the situation is even more troublesome as I will need to scheme and plan to seize it. In fact, even if I have these two core immortal goo, it is still a mystery on how to form them into that killer move. The legends of Renzu is too vague about it. Just at this time, Qin Ding Ling personally sent a letter through Treasure Yellow Heaven. Fang Yuan opened and read it. The letter Gu directly talked about Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven's matter. Qin Ding Ling was very eager about Lightning Gu, and even wanted Kai Si Ancestor to stop researching the Kai Harvest Fruits for the time being and lead his subordinates to cooperate with Heavenly Court in fighting for Lightning Gu. Why is Heavenly Court so anxious? Fang Yuan's eyes shined with bright light. Also, they obtained the information too quickly. Looks like they have arranged some spies on Wu Shuai's side. Qin Ding Ling was not Fairy Zai Wai after all, she was slightly hurried in doing things, which allowed Fang Yuan, who had deep wisdom path attainment to deduce some possibilities. Since that is the case, Fang Yuan smiled bitterly, Heavenly Court's urgent letter made him come to a decision. Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven Zio He Jian's expression changed slightly. He had received Wu Shuai's command. His gaze turned cold as he shouted, Alliance leader sent the command to kill Forest Lightning Grotto Lord without worrying about Lightning Goo. It is nothing to lose a mere rank 8 Immortal Goo. We must execute all the Goo Immortals of Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven and then attempt to get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruit. Don't worry about the Grotto Heaven's resources, use all your strength to complete the task in the shortest time possible. What? Hearing these words, not only Forest Lightning Grotto Lord, even Lady Cold Ash and Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord were astonished. This was a future rank 9 immortal goo. Wu Shuai gave up on it so resolutely. For an instant, none of the three immortals made a move due to the shock. Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord was Heavenly Court's mole. He naturally thought of helping to preserve Forest Lightning Grotto Lord to harm Wu Shuai's alliance. And Lady Cold Ash was basically Spectral Soul. He also thought of preserving this point of conflict that would incite a fierce battle between Wu Shuai and Kai Si Ancestor. As long as there was chaos, he could gain many chances to act. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord suddenly shouted, Zio He Jian, such audacity, you actually gave a false command. Wu Shuai is expanding his strength. How can he give up on the future rank 9 Immortal Gu? As someone who joined recently, you truly have ill intentions. Zio He Jian's expression turned cold from Forest Lightning Grotto Lord's incrimination. He did not retort, instead, glaring at Lady Cold Ash and Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord. This is our alliance leader's command. Are you going to believe a traitor or me? Attack. Saying so, Zio He Jian did not wait for the two and charged in by himself. Bam bam bam. Killer moves were let out, destroying a large portion of the lightning forest. Charge. The alliance immortals who were above ground also received Zio He Jian's order and came over, besieging this lightning forest. Since the situation became like this, Lady Cold Ash and Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord could not care about their own schemes, they sighed and joined the group in attacking. Wu Shuai, you are really cruel. You are so narrow-minded, you will definitely die miserably. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord knew he was going to die and let out a vicious curse while exerting strength to destroy Lightning Goo. In your dreams, at the next moment, Lady Cold Ash suddenly appeared behind him. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord stiffened. Lady Cold Ash took the chance and actually seized Lightning Goo from his hands. What method is this? The immortals were astonished. Although Spectral Soul's attainment levels had fallen to a miserable level, he still had plenty of methods. The accumulation of a venerable could not be estimated by ordinary rank 8 Goo immortals. Great job, Zio He Jian was exalted. He had held no hope in taking Lightning Goo, but who could have thought it would truly be seized? This was Lady Cold Ash's merit and his as well. By now, his Vice Alliance leader position was already half confirmed.
the remaining half would be by completing the task given by Wu Shuai. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord counterattacked madly. To preserve Lightning Gu, Lady Cold Ash had forcibly endured his attacks and got injured. Retreat and guard Lightning Gu. Zio He Jian quickly came to help. He blocked Forest Lightning Grotto Lord for Lady Cold Ash. To prevent interference, other immortals began to plunder resources while watching Zio He Jian fight Forest Lightning Grotto Lord alone. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord had already fought with Lady Cold Ash before. His condition was not optimal and almost all of his methods were exposed. Based on the superficial strength shown, Zio He Jian was stronger than Lady Cold Ash as well. This battle held no suspense, and soon, Zio He Jian defeated Forest Lightning Grotto Lord. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord was not resigned to being defeated and was still thinking of escaping. But the surrounding Gu Immortals had been observing the battle and encircled Forest Lightning Grotto Lord with no way for him to flee. Forest Lightning Grotto Lord was beheaded and Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven was destroyed. The Alliance's experiment on the Kai Harvest Fruit failed this time as well. Moreover, because Wu Shuai asked for the battle to be finished as quickly as possible, most of the resources in Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven were destroyed. The participating Gu Immortals could only collect very few resources. The greatest gain was that Wild Rank 8 Lightning Gu, but it was clear this was going to be handed to Alliance leader Wu Shuai. Fang Yuan thought for a good while before finally deciding to deal with the problem directly, getting rid of Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven so that the conflict could not grow. Wu Shuai's fast decision not only astonished the Alliance members, it even destroyed Heavenly Court's plan. Qin Dingling had obtained first-hand information from Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord and immediately contacted Kai Si Ancestor. Fang Yuan received the letter. In the letter, Qin Dingling was still insisting on seizing Lightning Gu even though it had already fallen into Wu Shuai's hands. Even if they could not seize Lightning Gu, they had to destroy it. Looks like Heavenly Court is determined to get Lightning Gu. Heavenly Court should have Lightning Gu's Immortal Gu recipe, they can refine it themselves if this Gu is destroyed. Fang Yuan was even more curious, why was Heavenly Court so anxious to get Lightning Gu? Why did such the powerful Heavenly Court have such pressing needs for this Immortal Gu? Lightning Gu was not Fate Gu after all. Fang Yuan did not understand Heavenly Court's scheme, but Qin Dingling's attitude made Fang Yuan's previous plan fall through. Fang Yuan made Wu Shuai destroy Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven without any regards for the safety of Lightning Gu to strangle the possible conflict to death and prevent a war between the two sides. But Heavenly Court held an attitude akin to asking for battle. Fang Yuan also could not refuse it easily. After all, Kai Si Ancestor was allied with Heavenly Court. How should he deal with this? Chapter 2023 Inviting Kai Si Profound Literature Grotto Heaven Capital City, Su Clan There was a bookhouse erected inside a certain guest room's courtyard. This bookhouse was a mortal goo house, it had the form of a treehouse, covered with green leaves and branches. Right now, Lai Zio Bai was sitting cross-legged inside the bookhouse. A beautiful girl was standing in front of him, she was Su Kai Han. Su Kai Han's expression was somewhat serious. Zio Bai, have you really thought it through? A vital Gu cannot be changed easily. Lai Zio Bai nodded with a smile. Kai Han, don't be too worried. I have thought it through properly. I am most interested in composing poems. So to me, poetry Gu is the most suitable vital Gu. It was just that I was not qualified to change my vital Gu before. But since this bookhouse has extraordinary might and has the function of assisting me in changing vital goo, how can I let go of such a chance? Su Kai Han sighed. Since you have decided, I won't urge you anymore. I will guard you from outside. Mm, Lai Zio Bai did not stand on ceremony, directly closing his eyes. After he obtained this bookhouse inheritance, he returned to the capital city and reunited with Su Kai Han. 
Although he lost in the poetry competition, he had already proven himself. Su Kai Han invited him to stay temporarily in Su clan. No one opposed to it. Instead, this became a beautiful story. Lai Ziobai was not stingy. After staying in Su clan, he shared this bookhouse inheritance with Su Kai Han. The two spent almost every day in the bookhouse, continuously cultivating, researching, and communicating intimately with each other. Although the two had undergone intimate activities because of a coincidence, they did not have close feelings for each other. Su Kai Han's previous actions came from her own high moral character. But over these days of contact, Su Kai Han increasingly appreciated Lai Ziobai's talents and started to feel an attraction to him. Lai Ziobai obtained this fortuitous encounter but did not conceal it from Su Kai Han and shared it with her. From this, Su Kai Han saw that Lai Ziobai's character was pure and kind, willing to give her anything. He was definitely not a heartless scholar. Although the two had not been officially engaged, Su Kai Han had already treated Lai Ziobai as her sole lifelong partner. Su Kai Han walked out of the bookhouse with worry. This bookhouse has high value and contains many branches of information path like verses, ditties, odes and songs. However, these branches are limited to Gu Master cultivation, and there are no ways to advance to Gu Immortal. I have already hinted Zio by many times that as long as he marries into and lives in my Su clan, he can obtain Su clan's calligraphy immortal cultivation technique. Unfortunately, he has no interest in calligraphy and is wholeheartedly focused on poems. Oh, since he likes it, I have no way to persuade him otherwise. If he accomplishes nothing in the future and stays as a Gu master, I will work hard to become a Gu immortal and an official of the imperial court. I will protect and take care of him for the rest of my life. I will watch him compose and recite poems. As long as he is happy, I am also happy. Profound Literature Grotto Heaven had an imperial court. The high-ranking officials of the imperial court were all Gu immortals. Su Kai Han was Su clan's most beloved daughter and the apple of their eye. Her aptitude and talents were astonishing as well, so it was natural for her to come in contact with Su clan's immortal cultivation technique. Young miss, you should take a rest. You will be tired if you keep on standing. With us here, great scholar Lai's safety is guaranteed. The guards and the maids urged Su Kai Han. Su Kai Han shook her head, Stand guard outside the courtyard. I will personally guard him here. The bookhouse started shaking. Gentle light spread from the inside to the outside through the windows. A few minutes later, the bookhouse turned silent. The leaves and the branches were no longer shaking. Inside the bookhouse, Lai Zio Bai opened his eyes slowly. The process of changing vital goo went smoothly. Lai Ziobai looked inside his aperture and saw a goo worm that looked like a heart. It had a red jade-like texture and was covered by a layer of light gold radiance. It was his new vital goo, rank 5 goo worm poetry. Poetry goo was classified in information path and belonged to a side branch of information path cultivation. The most common form of information path cultivation were oaths and vows, like sea oath goo, mountain pledge goo, promise goo, black and white paper goo. Second was transmitting information like goose goo, paper crane goo, butterfly letter goo, flying sword letter goo, messenger dove goo, and so on. Thirdly was watching, listening, reading, and writing. For example, water text goo belonged to the writing category. Beast language goo was related to reading and speaking. Verses, ditties, odes, songs, and so on were simply not mainstream. Lai Zio Bai had made such a decision. It was no wonder Su Kai Han was worried about his future prospects. But she did not know Lai Zio Bai's true intention. This grotto heaven's environment is special as it is under the effect of the killer move, assisting literary talents. As long as I create great poems, I can obtain rewards and advance quickly. The five regions' chaotic war is drawing close. Such a way that can quickly increase one's strength with no side effect is priceless. Although Su Kai Han can get in contact with Gu Immortal cultivation methods, she does not know the outside world's situation. 
I have changed my vital goo to poetry goo. Next, I will practice poetic goo and emotion poetry goo. Use gather poem goo to gather poems externally and advance poem wall goo. Additionally, I should also practice poem boundary goo. This is an extremely outstanding goo worm which effect is similar to a battlefield killer move. Just as Lai Zio Bai was thinking, the door was opened slowly and Su Kai Han entered with a concerned look. Zio Bai, Su Kai Han spoke softly. Lai Zio Bai gave a light smile and nodded towards her. Everything went smoothly. Su Kai Han smiled. Her beautiful watery eyes revealed delicate concern. That's good. Boom. Suddenly, the sky shook and an explosion resounded throughout the grotto heaven. What's going on? Lai Zio Bai and Su Kai Han were alarmed and rushed out of the room. They looked at the sky, but it was clear and blue. A gust of wind blew past them. The wind only lasted for a very short period of time, and after it passed by, there was no other abnormality. The mortals, goo masters, and even goo immortals living in the capital city sensed this suddenly appearing and disappearing abnormality. Most of the people were baffled, but a few goo immortal officials who knew the inside details were joyous. Success in a certain area of profound literature grotto heaven, old immortal Hua Yu bowed deeply towards Kai Si ancestor in excitement. Congratulations to Ancestor for successfully handling the Kai Harvest Fruit Calamity. Ancestor has saved the whole of profound literature Grotto Heaven. This favor is the same as giving us new life. From now on, if you have any orders for me, I will undoubtedly use all my strength without question. Kai C. Ancestor laughed heartily, lifting old immortal Hua Yu up. No need to be so courteous. The immortals standing at the side were extremely happy. Ancestor has divine might. Wu Shuai's side tested repeatedly and destroyed so many grotto heavens. Ancestor tried for the first time and succeeded. Wu Shuai can never match you. I wonder when Ancestor can resolve our Kai harvest fruit problem. Yes, our grotto heavens Kai harvest fruits have already become extremely large and are getting closer to self-detonation. Gu immortals praised loudly while also urging Fang Yuan to continue his work. Fang Yuan waved his hand. This test was a success, but I sensed some flaws in it. I need to be in closed cultivation for three days to solve this issue. At that time, I will clear up the danger for everyone. Wouldn't that be even better? The immortals were exalted. We shall listen to ancestors' arrangements. Fang Yuan smiled, a sharp light flashing across his eyes. Heavenly Court Soon, Kin Ding Ling received this news and immediately showed joy. Good, good. My choice to cooperate with Kai Si Ancestor was indeed correct. Kai Si Ancestor did not let down their expectations not only creating a method to resolve the Kai harvest fruit problem, but even succeeding after using it once. According to the information, profound literature Grotto Heaven's Kai harvest fruit was not only safely removed, the fruit also burst and formed a harmless Kai tide that swept past the whole Grotto Heaven and raised the Grotto Heaven's foundation by a good amount. Kinding Ling was in a great mood. Over this period of time, Heavenly Court had already walked out of the shadow of defeat in the Fate War. With Kin Ding Ling and the other Heavenly Court Immortals' schemes and efforts, good news came one after another. Firstly, the variant human forces were restrained. Secondly, King Chu was captured. And now, the Kai Harvest Fruit's danger was eliminated. But now, should we get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruit in Heavenly Court first or try to fight for Lightning Goo? Kin Ding Ling could not come to a decision by herself and gathered the heavenly court immortals for a meeting. Kai Si Ancestor is worthy of being a Kai Path great expert. With this method, his force will be stable and in an impregnable position. Wu Shuai's alliance is still experimenting with various methods. Their Kai Path attainment is too shallow. As long as Kai Si Ancestor defers for some time, there might not even be a need to start a fight and Wu Shuai's alliance will break apart by itself. 
Qin Dingling shook her head at this optimistic plan. Wu Shuai is a formidable person. Even a rabbit will bite if it is forced to a corner, let alone this dragonman. Once he obtains this news, he might immediately lead his troops to fight Kai Si Ancestor. That's right. Kai Si Ancestor can safely remove the Kai harvest fruits, but Wu Shui cannot. The longer their fight is delayed, the more unfavorable it is to Wu Shui. It is very likely for Wu Shui to send his troops. In that case, we have to move ahead of time and ask Kai Si Ancestor to resolve the Kai harvest fruit in Heavenly Court. You are right. Once the battle starts, Kai Si Ancestor will not be able to deal with too many matters, he will definitely have to bear the full force attack from Wu Shuai. The situation is already like a conflict between fire and water. The fight won't be stopped easily once it starts, and it might really be a life and death battle. Qin Dingling looked at Nine's spiritual fairy. How is the refinement of hatred goo going? Nine's spiritual fairy shook her head. There has been a breakthrough just recently. Hatred Gu's condition is extremely strange, it has already merged into King Chu. We found a method to refine Hatred Gu just recently. It will take quite long to refine Hatred Gu. But the good news is that if we succeed, we can manipulate King Chu as well. Qin Ding Ling nodded. Since Hatred Gu has yet to be obtained completely, there is no need to hurry in seizing Lightning Gu. We will conceal this news as much as possible and invite Kai Si Ancestor to come to Heavenly Court secretly and deal with the Kai Harvest Fruit. After finishing this matter, we will then fight with Wu Shuai. The Immortals did not have any objections. But how should we reward Kai Si Ancestor? A Gu Immortal asked. This is not difficult. Kai Si Ancestor is very interested in the Kai Path Immortal Gu in my Heavenly Court's treasury. In the previous letters, he had repeatedly asked to borrow these Kai Path Immortal Gu, but I did not agree and kept on making excuses. Qin Ding Ling smiled. Another Gu Immortal added, We also need to be on guard against another person, Demon Immortal Kai Ju. Qin Ding Ling nodded. I have also considered it. This demon is also a Kai Path great expert. If he collaborates with Wu Shuai, it will balance the situation of both sides again. He is a huge threat. It is difficult to track demon immortal Kai Ju, who knows where he has gone now. He has just revived and is not familiar with the various paths of the present age. He is currently purchasing Kai Path immortal materials in Treasure Yellow Heaven and exchanging for inheritances of every path. He is taking even Gu Master inheritances. Wu Shuai has chips to transact with him. Qin Ding Ling stressed once again. So the current plan is to immediately invite Kai Si Ancestor to Heavenly Court while hiding the information and striving for every second we can get. Chapter 2024 Strategies of the Three Parties Within Dragon Palace, the atmosphere was heavy. The situation has become like this, what do you all think about it? Wu Shuai was the only person seated. He had already gathered the Alliance's immortals and explained to them the actions that Kai Si Ancestor took inside Profound Literature Grotto Heaven. Heavenly Court tried all ways to conceal the information, but at the same time, Wu Shuai informed all of the Gu immortals within the Two Heavens Alliance. After hearing this nightmarish news, the response was huge as all of the immortals' expressions changed. Is this for real? Ice Crystal Immortal Monarch asked immediately before reacting to what he had said, his face turned pale. I am not questioning Lord Alliance Leader, but this is truly too sudden and surprising. Wu Shuai snorted coldly, do I need to lie to you? This is not good. Zio He Jian's expression was solemn. Kai Si Ancestor is a Kai Path great expert. Since Demon Immortal Kaiju was able to use a Kai Harvest Fruit to revive, then there is also a high chance that Kai Si Ancestor can get rid of the threatening Kai Harvest Fruits. If the enemy has a method to get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruits, they will have a complete upper hand in this situation. Indeed, indeed. What do we do now? 
My tribe's Grotto Heaven's Kai Harvest Fruit has already grown to a huge size. If we do not get rid of it, it will explode soon. But our experiments have not succeeded once. We already ruined many Grotto Heavens. It is impossible for us to come to a peaceful truce with Kai Sea Ancestor. We should be wary of them using this chance to attack us. The immortals discussed as their tone contained fear and panic. Spectral Soul, who was acting as Lady Cold Ash, stood among them, cheering secretly. He wanted the war to start as soon as possible. If there was chaos, he would gain a great opportunity to take action. Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord showed the same attitude as the rest, but he was happy on the inside. He had already joined Heavenly Court. This situation was very advantageous to him. Panicking to this degree, what a disgrace, Gu Tribe's leader suddenly shouted. Everyone looked towards him. Even though Gu Tribe's leader joined the Two Heavens Alliance, he had always been silent. But everyone knew that he was the closest person to Wu Shuai. In terms of Wu Shuai's trust, he surpassed Ice Crystal Immortal Monarch and Zio He Jian, who were both Vice Alliance leaders. Gu Tribe's leader suddenly spoke. Zio He Jian shook internally as he realized something. Before he spoke, Ice Crystal Immortal Monarch had already taken the initiative. With Lord Alliance leader here, we have nothing to fear. At this crucial juncture of life and death, I am willing to follow Lord Alliance leader and listen to your commands. Zio He Jian cursed internally, but he quickly followed. I will listen to Lord Alliance leader's decision. Wu Shui nodded slightly, snorting. The current situation is critical. If we sit and wait here, we will definitely perish. There is no exception. We have to fight with all our strength now for a hope of survival. They are able to eliminate the Kai harvest fruit because of Kai Si Ancestor's method. As long as we do our best and kill Kai Si Ancestor, we will gain complete victory. Even if we cannot kill him, as long as we gravely injure him, the situation will also be alleviated. After Wu Shuai said that, Gu Tribe's leader immediately shouted, Alliance leader is wise. Wu Shuai looked at Ice Crystal Immortal Monarch and Zio He Jian. These two Vice Alliance leaders immediately shouted, Alliance leader is wise, this plan is superb. What ideas do you all have? If anyone has a better suggestion, you can tell us now. Wu Shuai purposely asked the other Gu Immortals. But what ideas could these people have? In fact, Wu Shuai said he was going to attack the enemies because he had no other choice now. This was their only hope. Other than this, could they surrender to Kai Si Ancestor? It was not that they did not know this, but nobody had the guts to say it. Forest Lightning Grotto Heaven was the best example. Everyone saw that pitiful end. Who would still dare to follow in its footsteps? Since everyone agrees, we will discuss about the way we will send our troops. We will use our time efficiently and catch the enemy off guard. Wu Shuai said as he decided with lightning speed. Gu tribe's leader added, Lord Alliance leader is right. Every second we waste now will mean the enemy gets an additional second of advantage. Immediately, the immortals started to discuss their offensive strategy. This discussion lasted nearly an hour before they came up with a refined plan. Wu Shuai opened the door of Dragon Palace, ordering the immortals to make preparations, they would move out in seven days. Night Heavenly Wolf Lord returned to Night Wolf Grotto Heaven. He mobilized his forces and gathered more troops while quickly informing Heavenly Court of this new development. After Qin Dingling received the information, she summoned the Heavenly Court Immortals for a meeting. The situation has changed. It seems that Wu Shuai has some spies around Kai Si Ancestor. Like I said before, we cannot underestimate Wu Shui. Since Wu Shuai is going to take the initiative to attack, let's use this chance to take him down. That will be hard. They have Dragon Palace and Di Zhang Sheng to defend them. Unless we can awaken some immortals from the graveyard, we will not have sufficient strength to deal with the enemies. Time is too pressing. We have seven days and the situation will occur far away in Eastern Sea. 
We can only inform Kai C ancestor now and ask him to make preparations while pretending to be ignorant. When Wu Shuai attacks, he will definitely suffer a setback. Did you forget that Wu Shuai has spies around Kai C ancestor? If Kai C ancestor learns this information from us, it will also likely alert Wu Shuai. Prince Fong Zion suddenly spoke at this time. Why must we inform Kai C ancestor? The discussions suddenly stopped. Kai C ancestor is our ally. If we do not tell him about this, it will not benefit our alliance. Prince Fong Zion shook his head slowly as he smiled. As long as we keep quiet, why would Kai C ancestor find out that we know this? Our spy in the Two Heavens Alliance has always been kept as a secret. If we tell him now, the spy might get exposed. We ally with Kai C ancestor because we need his strength to resolve Heavenly Court's problem of the Kai harvest fruit. We also want to use him as our pawn to gather an external force that can resist the variant human forces from getting stronger. Prince Fong Zion continued to speak, and thirdly, if possible, we want to recruit Kai C ancestor into becoming a Heavenly Court member. Qin Ding Ling looked at Prince Fong Zion. Then, in your opinion, what should we do? Prince Fong Zion breathed in deeply. In my humble opinion, we should pretend that we do not know this and act according to our original plan. Now that Kai Si Ancestor has already secretly moved out, he will arrive in Heavenly Court in three days. By then, we can get him to solve our problem of the Kai Harvest Fruit. Heavenly Court is huge and has immense foundation. The Kai Harvest Fruit here is the largest in the world. Kai Si Ancestor suggested us to create a Kai Path Immortal Formation. It will take at least six days to get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruit. We can purposely delay the formation creation time. If Wu Shuai's invasion succeeds, Kai Si Ancestor's force will suffer a huge loss. Kai Si Ancestor will become anxious and want to return to help them, but as the person controlling the formation, how can he leave? Kai Si Ancestor's force will be without a leader. They will not be able to defeat Wu Shuai. In fact, even if they get wiped out, so what? Our strength will not fall while Kai Si Ancestor will become a loner. By coming to Heavenly Court secretly and failing to protect his force, causing its destruction, his reputation will fall to rock bottom. Eastern Sea's Gu Immortal World will also look down on him. Who would respect someone who goes missing in battle while helping forces of other regions? At that point, Kai Si Ancestor will understand that his status in Eastern Sea will never recover. By then, we will have no worries anymore, we can send people to take revenge for him. During the process, we can move him with logic and emotion. By tempting him with future gains, I am sure there is a high chance we can get him to join Heavenly Court. The Immortals were silent, they looked at each other before looking towards Prince Feng Zion. At this moment, all of the Immortals' gazes became different from before. After hearing Prince Feng Zion's strategy, their impression towards him changed completely. Prince Feng Zion's arms were behind his back, he stopped speaking as he smiled. This scheme was vicious, none of the Gu Immortals here thought of it except him. The reason was because of his own life experiences. Prince Fong Zion came from Spirit Affinity House. He was used as a spy initially to develop in Northern Plains. After many years, he became rank 8 and also married into Gong Tribe. He was the strongest spy in Northern Plains that came from Central Continent. Heavenly Court's Gu Immortals have been too used to being overlords. Their mindsets were also too fixed in place. But all of the immortals here were rank 8 elites. They soon understood that Prince Feng Zion's plan was the most advantageous to Heavenly Court. Even if Wu Shui claims victory, so what? Only the Grotto Heavens in the Two Heavens would suffer. Even if Eastern Sea gets involved in the fight, its foundation would not be affected. Even if Eastern Sea's righteous path was toppled, that would only be one region. Humanity would still be the ruler of the world. All right. Qin Ding Ling looked at everyone's expressions as she said, making a decision, we will act according to Prince Fong Zion's proposal. 
Chapter 2025, Three Kai Immortal Gu Heavenly Court was constantly filled with bright light. Fang Yuan, who was disguised as Kai Si Ancestor, had already arrived in Heavenly Court. He floated in the air as he observed the Kai harvest fruit in front of him. The Kai harvest fruit in Heavenly Court was large beyond common sense, it was like a towering mountain range, vast and colossal. Such a huge Kai harvest fruit cannot even fit in an ordinary rank 8 grotto heaven. It will destroy the aperture walls from its sheer size. Only Heavenly Court has such a deep foundation, and because of the use of Kang Xuanzai's space path fruits, the space inside is large enough to accommodate this Kai harvest fruit. Fang Yuan sighed internally. The last time he came to Heavenly Court, he had participated in the Fate War with his original appearance and caused Heavenly Court to lose badly. This time, he was acting as Heavenly Court's friend. He was here to resolve their problem of the Kai Harvest Fruit. Changes in situations and circumstances were often hard to predict. How is it? Qin Dingling stood beside Fang Yuan, asking. Fang Yuan nodded. This is the first time I've seen such a huge Kai Harvest Fruit. It shows that your foundation is truly unfathomable. This is truly the number one force in the world. After pausing for a while, Fang Yuan continued. After my inspection earlier, even though my method is effective, this Kai harvest fruit is too big. We need to set up the immortal formation first. The larger the Kai path immortal formation, the more time we can save. Qin Ding Ling was slightly surprised. Ancestor, to think that you have already come up with the immortal formation's design. Fang Yuan shook his head. No, the Kai Path immortal formation that we will set up is only going to amplify my Kai Path killer moves. The actual way to get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruit is still through the Kai Path killer moves that I will use. Qin Ding Ling nodded upon hearing this. The explanation was logical. She smiled as she took out a Kai Path Rank 8 Immortal Goo. Heavenly Court does not lack Kai Path Immortal Goo to resolve the problem of the Kai Harvest Fruit. Heavenly Court is willing to use up our Kai Path resources. Ancestor, look at this Immortal Goo. Fang Yuan's attention was drawn to this Immortal Goo. Don't tell me this is Human Kai Immortal Goo. Fang Yuan's pupils expanded as his expression changed. Human Kai Immortal Goo resembled a bee. It was thumb-sized and constantly moved its wings. Floating above Kim Ding Ling's palm, it emitted a cloud like Kai. Kim Ding Ling handed Human Kai Immortal Goo to Fang Yun. Fang Yun extended his hand and held the goo. He looked at it fixedly and praised, Good goo, good goo. This goo is related to human path. It has immense potential for development. Qin Ding Ling smiled as she took out a second immortal goo, handing it to Fang Yun. This was Earth Kai Immortal Goo. It resembled a butterfly, brown in color. It also gave off a cloud like Kai. Fang Yun's left hand held Human Kai Immortal Goo, while his right hand held Earth Kai Immortal Goo. He looked at them with great interest. Wonderful, wonderful. And this is Heaven Kai Immortal Goo. Qin Dingling said as she passed Fang Yuan a third rank 8 Immortal Goo. Heaven Kai Immortal Goo resembled a dragonfly. It was green in color and had eight pairs of thin bluish wings. When it moved its wings, its entire body would emit a translucent Kai current. Fang Yuan had a solemn expression. This Heaven Kai Immortal Goo is tightly connected with Heaven Path. Truthfully speaking, the method that I created to get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruit only succeeded after I comprehended a trace of Heaven Path's profundity. If I had this goo, I would have succeeded much earlier. Goo Immortals cultivate all sorts of paths. Human Path and Heaven Path are the most unique. Ancestor, you have already reached the peak of Kai Path. Thus you are able to mimic other paths easily and comprehend the true meaning of various paths. Qin Ding Ling praised before changing her words. These three Kai Immortal Gu are the core of Triple Kai Retraction Killer Move. They are priceless treasures of Heavenly Court. Only Heavenly Court members can have them. 
Qin Dingling saw Fang Yuan's expression and felt internally happy. She hinted to him that these goo worms would be available if he joined Heavenly Court. After hearing this, Fang Yuan showed a hesitant expression, but he was smiling to himself internally. All of the expressions he showed were just an act. If he really cultivated Kai Path solely, these three Kai Immortal Gu would be incredibly alluring. Fang Yuan had tried many times already. These three Kai Path Immortal Gu were the cores of Triple Kai Retraction. They could not be replaced. If he used other Kai Path Immortal Gu in place of them, even if he manages to create a Triple Kai Retraction killer move, its value in battle would fall drastically. Thus, even though Fang Yuan had the complete primordial origin Kai path true inheritance now, he did not benefit much from it. Furthermore, Kai Si ancestor was just one of Fang Yuan's identities. He also had no lack of rank 8 immortal goo. Attitude, mutation, wisdom sword, years flow like water, soul beast token, regret, spring, summer, big Kai, region, addition, steel life, water refinement, Advance Refinement, Dream Token. He simply had too many of them. In Fang Yuan's eyes, only Rank 9 Immortal Gu could truly excite him. But Rank 9 Immortal Gu were too rare. He originally had one, which was Wisdom Gu. But this Immortal Gu was tampered by Giant Sun Immortal Venerable long ago. He had no choice but to sacrifice it in the Fate War. King Ding Ling lent all three Kai Immortal Gu and let Kai Si Ancestor familiarize himself with them. She also arranged several Gu Immortals to modify the Kai Path Immortal Gu formation with Kai Si Ancestor. Having everyone's help, the Kai Path Immortal formation was finalized in a few days. Fang Yuan and the Heavenly Court Immortals started to set up the formation. This Kai Path formation's main owner was naturally Fang Yuan. But in the other formation cores, there would be Heavenly Court's Gu Immortals stationed. They could help him out while also supervising his actions. Kai Si Ancestor was an outsider after all. Even though he underwent an alliance agreement, he was still not a Heavenly Court member. How could Heavenly Court not guard against him? The truth was, the assisting Gu Immortals were not the only ones guarding against him. The core Immortal Gu of this Kai Path formation Heaven Kai, Earth Kai, and Human Kai, were temporarily lent to Fang Yuan by Qin Ding Ling. If any situation occurs, Heavenly Court could immediately take them back and make Fang Yuan lose control of the entire Kai Path formation. This Kai Path formation was modified along with several Heavenly Court Gu Immortals. Even if they had low Kai Path attainment, they still had general knowledge. It was hard to deceive them. Also, Fang Yuan did not conceal anything inside this Kai Path formation. The formation was definitely not an issue. Earth Kai Gu, go! Fang Yuan first tossed Earth Kai Immortal Gu as he instilled Immortal Essence. Earth Kai Immortal Gu quickly flew out. It went into the ground below the Kai Harvest Fruit. Boom! Suddenly, with a loud explosion, the ground below the Kai Harvest Fruit started to shake. Earth Kai started to rise up continuously. Fang Yuan started to collect the Earth Kai. The Heavenly Court Gu Immortals around him also took action. Some helped with the gathering while others set up small formations around the small holes that the Earth Kai emerged from. While Fang Yuan was setting up his formation, deep underground at another area of Heavenly Court, there was a huge underground square. King Chu's mountain-like body was deep within this underground square, unmoving like a statue. Bam! Suddenly, a loud sound could be heard from afar. The underground square shook slightly, several cracks appeared on the ground. But Red Heart Traveler, who was defending this place, was not flustered. He immediately acted to stabilize the situation. The cracks on the ground could be seen disappearing at an observable rate. What's the commotion? King Chu suddenly spoke. But strangely, its voice was actually nine spiritual fairies. Nine spiritual fairy was actually inside King Chu's body, trying to forcefully refine hatred goo. From this commotion, Kai Si ancestor must have started to create his formation. 
he used earth kai immortal goo as the first foundation of the formation. It involved the earth vein. Meanwhile, we are at one of the main earth veins, thus we could feel the influence. Red Heart Traveler spoke. Earlier, you were at a crucial moment, so I did not inform you of this. But don't worry, this cannot interrupt our plan. Mm, nine spiritual fairy stopped worrying as she said, Then let's hurry up. If we can refine hatred goo at the same time as the elimination of the Kai harvest fruit, Heavenly Court will have a double celebration. Heavenly Court's goo immortals had already recovered from the trauma of the fate war. They became braver after the humiliation. They worked harder and had greater morale now. Days later, the Kai Path formation was created. Fang Yuan was the main user and activated his method to eliminate the Kai Harvest Fruit. The Kai Harvest Fruit was continuously shaved off from Fang Yuan's killer move. But this Kai Harvest Fruit in Heavenly Court was just too big. Some time was needed to completely destroy it. Days passed. The Kai Harvest Fruit was removed by over 10%. Qin Dingling hurried to Fang Yuan as she showed a solemn expression. Ancestor, the situation in Eastern Sea has changed. This is not good. Fang Yuan looked shocked. What happened? Wu Shuai suddenly led his alliance to launch an invasion. They have split into three groups. They are attacking the Grotto Heaven forces that have submitted to our side. Because we were caught off guard, our losses are quite severe. Qin Dingling said. News that I came here should have been kept a secret. How did this happen? How did Wu Shuai find out so quickly? Fang Yuan's expression changed. There was anxiety in his tone. Ancestor, you want to return to help Eastern Sea? Qin Ding Ling purposely asked. That is so. Fang Yuan frowned. But this method needs my full attention. If I stop halfway, there might be problematic consequences. Qin Ding Ling cupped her fists at Fang Yuan. Ancestor, please consider the big picture. It is unexpected that Wu Shuai attacked so soon, but if you return now, that will be what Wu Shuai wants to see. Only after eliminating the Kai Harvest Fruit can we have a safe territory to count on. By then, you can lead our Heavenly Court's immortals to return to Eastern Sea and retaliate. You can say that you went to seek reinforcement from Heavenly Court. But Wu Shuai attacked and trapped you temporarily. By gathering our strength, we will kill Wu Shuai and get rid of the Two Heavens Alliance. That is the true way to seek victory. Fang Yuan did not speak. He only looked at Qin Ding Ling deeply. Long after, he spoke in a grim tone. Wu Shuai attacked with his full force. He must have been prepared for this. Does Heavenly Court know of their plans in advance? Definitely not. Qin Ding Ling shook her head, showing a firm expression. Fang Yuan snorted coldly. He showed a struggling expression as he sighed helplessly. Forget it, I will stay here and control the formation until we get rid of the Kai Harvest Fruit. But during this time, I need Heavenly Court to send people to assist Eastern Sea. Qin Ding Ling sighed as well. We will do our best. Fang Yuan gritted his teeth as he said, once I get rid of the Kai harvest fruit, I will need to return and help them. But these days of unceasingly controlling the formation will cause my battle strength to fall. I need Heavenly Court to give me the three Kai immortal Gu to kill the enemies and claim victory. Qin Ding Ling's expression changed. Even though Fang Yuan spoke politely, his request for reward was really absurd. It far exceeded Qin Ding Ling's bottom line. She rejected as she shook her head. The three Kai Immortal Gu are the treasures of Heavenly Court. Only our members can. Before she finished, Fang Yuan interrupted. Eastern Sea's Immortals are all my subordinates. Qin Ding Ling still shook her head. We will remember Ancestor's sacrifice. But even as Heavenly Court's leader, I cannot give you three rank eight Immortal Gu. At most, we can give you one as compensation. How can one Gu compensate for the people in the Grotto Heavens? Fang Yuan showed slight anger. Boom! While the two were negotiating, a loud sound could be heard in the sky. A rank 8 immortal Gu house directly charged in with a fierce aura. 
Heavenly Court's immortals were all shocked. The immortal goo house that invaded Heavenly Court was Dragon Palace. How can this be? Kin Ding Ling could not waste time with Fang Yuan anymore. She immediately flew out of the formation to face the enemies. Dragon Palace's door opened as Wu Shui sat on his throne, speaking from deep within Dragon Palace. Kin Ding Ling, we meet again. Wu Shui, why are you here? Kin Ding Ling shouted as several Gu immortals gathered behind her. Wu Shui smiled coldly as he kicked a head that was near his feet. This head fell from the stairs of the dragon throne, rolling into central great hall. The person had died with his eyes wide open. It was Knight Heavenly Wolf Lord. Old scoundrel Kai Si can get rid of Kai Harvest Fruits. Your heavenly court wants to conceal this information and secretly eliminate your internal threat. He he, wishful thinking. I am here to destroy your heavenly court and also kill that old scoundrel Kai Si. Let's see who in this world can stop my rise to supremacy. Wu Shui said that as he stood upright, he waved his hand and shouted, Kill! At the next moment, immortals rushed out of Dragon Palace, attacking with ferocious expressions.